My name is Andy Chada. I'm here with Eckhart Eberle of Siemens today. Mr. Eberle is the CEO of Digital Industries Process Automation Division. Welcome, Eckhart. Hello, Andy. Yeah. Eckhart, um, as we have been talking about, uh, this year has been a very difficult year for you know, most everybody and every company. And I know that companies have been actually, you know, doing some companies tell us that, you know, they have uh, implemented uh, digital technology a lot more uh, this year than ever before. I'm sure you are speaking with a lot of your customers. Could you share with us what you are hearing from your customers, especially with regards to digital transformation? Yes, I think a, a lot of activities are going on at the moment, and uh, even during the, the pandemic situation, uh, quite some of the stuff has been accelerated. But uh, what I can see from a general trend is that uh, a lot of digital transformation and projects left with digitalization has been uh, have been implemented are go and are going underway. And maybe I can share some of of, of the ideas uh, which which are coming uh, on and. Uh, this is when we are talking about digitalization in specific markets from a regional perspective. For example, we see, for example, that in Asia and China, a lot of activities are going because large plants with a complete new installation in Greenfield, they make a complete one-off with a complete digital chain and creating a digital twin by installing the whole thing in one. And I think this is what we are seeing very well with some of the customers. They are starting with consulting, then implementing on the conceptual phase and implementing this. And I think this is something what's going on very much. Uh, on the other side, we see also in European countries um, activities where, where we see things are going very well on, uh, for example, in new types of technologies like we the modularization, which also is going beyond the classical portfolio on the automation, but also on the process piece where we see that uh, a, a lot of change is going on within the process industries, which will be driven by the ability to have the digital approach and helping our customers to do so. Yeah. So I think there's quite a lot of stuff behind. Um, for example, in, in uh, uh, last year, we also announced that we are going to create the first modular plant together with Merck. As, as they see that the, the need for having this specific modularization is going to be a, a big lever for them. And this was a work, you know, we were doing this with Namo for six or seven years in step by step uh, filling this approach. And it helps very much when we talk about digitalization that we have the tools and the landscape in place to make this implementing. And uh, for sure, also, what is a, a very good development, what we are seeing at the moment is applications, cloud-based applications, which are on the improvement and the performance of equipment. Yeah. So um, large customers which are looking on their critical equipment and let us install um, very important applications on uh, cloud-based on, on Mindsphere in order to make sure that they are looking at the performance of their equipment and improving the performance. And maybe one thing what I see even more coming and uh, the interest is getting higher is the piece of simulation because this is more or less the pure and the core view on uh, on that when we are talking about the digital twin because the simulation of a plant is more or less a complete digital representation in a dynamic way of a plant. And we see more and more that customers are stepping into the use of these models, not only in the design, but also in the operations team. Yeah. So. Yeah, w one technology we are hearing a lot, certainly you mentioned, is digital twin. Yeah. You know, we are hearing more and more customers are deploying digital twin, or they want to deploy digital twin. Could you talk about uh, uh, what are some of the recent developments in this technology and why is it becoming so popular with the customers? I think at the end of the day, the digital twin is a digital representation of the physical assets in any way. And I think the the, the the help and the big step forward is 
that customers are getting a better understanding uh, and uh, uh, a virtual view completely on plants, on equipment, on the performance of a piece. And then you can look at it in a complete different way and will be able to make decisions for your plant in a much faster and better way. So a lot of that what has been maybe done in the past with a lot of experience of experienced plant operators enables us today in getting an understanding on the digital twin of the plant, on the simulation of the plant, as well as also on the representation, on the status of the plant, to find the ways virtually already how to improve performance, how to improve startup times, how to improve uptime, how to improve the quality of, of the plant. And I think these are uh, abilities uh, which which are very strong and in many cases it's even able we are able to put uh, these digital twin models on top of existing installations which makes the whole thing somehow also to a certain extent easier um, as you know you know this pandemic is not over yet you know i mean it's uh, we don't know how long it will take for companies to you know and and people to for us to get through this and I definitely think that uh, it's uh, a very interesting year. Uh, we are going to have another very interesting year going forward. What are some of the technologies or some of the things customers are actually speaking with you that they want to do this year? Mm -hmm. So I think this is somehow very interesting. And maybe I can start a little bit different because we, I can tell you what we've been doing even for us. Because also we have factories. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so for us, um, as, as a company, we had a significant change in, in starting in, in February or March last year. And this was going somehow through through the whole process of, of our company, starting from the ideation from the R&D teams, where maybe 80% of people have been working from home. Uh, maybe even some of them took testing equipment uh, to their place yeah, right, uh, right. through product management, through uh, um, through the um, the sales people which were staying at home and remotely working, um, but also everything which was around on the on the factory side uh, because uh, the whole supply chain inbound and outbound was completely changing, and I think this was a very strong indication. Because we, having installed our team center solutions uh, for, for, our, for the design and the production of our plants in itself, give us so much transparency about the, our material, which is on the road, which is in the factory, which is needed, that you have a much better handling of the situation as it maybe was uh, years before when you didn't know uh, how much is really out the place and how can you produce? So uh, this also in this case, the digital twin had us a lot in flexibly managing our factory and flexibly managing the whole supply chain. So I think this changed a lot and the way and the behavior, um, um, how we are collaborating, but also on the sales side, our interaction with the customers changed completely towards more or less 90% um, via virtual meetings, we were negotiating contracts virtually, we were uh, making virtual commissioning in, in many cases. So a lot of stuff also, which is then going into the project work, which, we, which has been doing, could be transferred on a virtual basis. Still, I think a lot of the installations, particularly on projects, uh, were on site, but we significantly could reduce the local part on, on that. And I think this helped a lot towards our customers. And this is also what they are looking at at the moment, yeah? uh, that they see how can you optimize in the way that the time where you do the installation is shortened to a very, very small slot and you do the best on uh, doing everything as far as possible uh, remotely. This means remote connectivity to plants, but also the whole piece of simulation by virtual commissioning implementation and running is something which is uh, highly appreciated at the moment and your customers are looking very strong on. Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, you know, most people working from home, as you know, for it's very difficult to run factories working from home. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, could you maybe talk a little bit more, how are customers really managing, especially customers with the large factories, I think, I think this will, will a significant part of that will stay. Uh, a lot of customers were forced 
to to make a lot of the work remote or also make sure that things are running independently and uh, I think this will not go back because a lot of people understood also um, that the necessity on on a presence on a plant is maybe far more limited to to uh, smaller teams that in the past one would have thought yeah so when you're as a, a, a head of the factory or as a plant manager yeah, you have your your dashboard available remotely on your on your uh, computer or on your mobile device i think uh, the the time what you have to spend on site is is uh, much lesser than maybe in the past uh, in the same also when we are talking about maintenance uh, maintenance uh, personnel uh, this means if you are more far more on on ways on doing predictive uh, maintenance i think the the activity what you have to do on site is far more focused and is not more on a time base but more on, on an activity base which is uh, significantly improving um, then also in a way that the presence is, is not there and I think this gained a significant step of productivity uh, where maybe uh, a lot of customers are not willing to miss this in the future so I think this whole thing gained uh, introducing digital tools, um, making sure that this was also uh, to be done remotely, was creating a, a big step of productivity where also maybe a lot of customers will rely on and also in the future when look at that, they will also maintain this and even extend it. Um, for sure, this also goes then in line in, in the future with mm. a higher degree of automation and a higher degree of digitalization because the more of that piece can run autonomous, the less you have to look personally after it. Yeah. Well, talking a little bit personally, how did you experience uh, this pandemic uh, personally uh, at home and at work? <clears throat> so this this was uh, in particular in the beginning a challenge uh, because for sure we were very much concerned about our employees worldwide. Um, and therefore, um, we were very keen on that um, we are communicating very regularly to our teams worldwide um, in, 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 in short sequences of, of several weeks where we gave updates about the status of the business, but also gave our recommendations and also motivated all people to stick to the rules. And uh, for God's sake, we, we really had a, a, a very, very low rate of um, people which uh, uh, were uh, getting Corona. So I think we were really, as, uh, as a business unit, uh, coming uh, along very well. Uh, and I think this was something which very much is connected to the behavior of the employees and to, to sticking uh, to rules which, which we have been adhering to. And I think this was something which was challenging. Um, also working from home uh, and not seeing people personally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. is something uh, which which uh, is different i think when you know people for quite a while it's it's not that complicated uh, when you are onboarding new people it's different yeah. i think this right. is something that we have to learn still correct i think we all got to get used to the new environment and certainly you know uh, we we got to actually uh, leverage the situation and see we can make how we can make the best of it yeah. yes Eckert, I really want to thank you very much for sharing your ideas with us. I think they are very interesting uh, uh, thoughts and what you are doing. We have been speaking with Eckert Eberle, CEO of Siemens Digital Industries Process Automation Division. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.